salutations friends welcome back to my channel today's video i'm going to review a very special and loved fragrance in my collection and it's from frederick mal and it's le parfum de therese this is one of the most gorgeous fragrances in my collection and a masterpiece in my opinion and it's one i've been meaning to review for you guys for a while and i decided now would be a good time to review it so if you'd like to know why I hold this fragrance so highly as just something beautiful, perfect, just elegant and unique, then keep watching. And the perfumer knows behind this fragrance is Edmund Vodniska. And the unique beauty of this fragrance is for the longest time, this fragrance was personal use of his wife, Teresa. And when Frederick Mall kind of came to be, they acquired, with her permission, the formula for this fragrance. Now, this is a Chypre, but I find it to be lighter, more flirty, more youthful and fun than your average Chypre. Although I do love the ele elegant, not elephant, sorry, the elegant sophistication that she prays can have and the beautiful quality that I enjoy out of Frederick Mall fragrances. I'm going to be talking about melon in this video because to me, the melon is what really makes this fragrance sing. But what I like about it is it's woody, it's aquatic, it's ozonic, it's fruity. It's very much a sophisticated, timeless, elegant fragrance, but it has a unique sparkle and playfulness to it that I really enjoy, which I think sets this apart from other more classic she prays. And I find it to be just effortlessly timeless and beautiful. Now, there's a lot of notes in here, but the fruit that we're looking at is going to be prune and melon. There's also some beautiful vetiver, some citruses as well, as well as a gorgeous, beautiful jasmine. There is rose in this fragrance as well, but I don't find it to be as predominant as the jasmine. So what I like about this fragrance is that it smells like a love letter. It smells like a beautiful symphony to somebody that they love. And Edmund Reniska, and I'm really bad at pronouncing that name, so please forgive me, was a definite prolific nose. And to think that somebody who was such a master at what they did would create a masterpiece specifically for the person that they loved I would hope that that fragrance would smell special. I would hope that that fragrance would encapsulate everything that that person was and thought and just their artistry, their imagination, their creativity, their dedication to the craft and translated it into a beautiful olfactive love letter and to something that was reminiscent of who they were as you know, a nose and as well as a husband, a lover and a friend. I don't know much about him or Teresa, but I do know that this smells like that kind of fragrance and that's really exciting. So if you're to give you a little TLDR, this fragrance was way ahead of its time when it was created. It was like created before fruity and aquatic accords and notes were really truly discovered. So not only was this a timeless masterpiece of a creation, but it was also way ahead of its time, which I find to be just so wonderful because even now looking at perfumers and noses and houses creating these fruity Chypre fragrances, especially ones that have patchouli and vetiver and darker, richer fruits, they all smell super sweet and sometimes tutti fruity patchouli. And I enjoy that, but I love the ozonic quality and the beautiful aromatic toastiness that the vetiver has in this. The florals are beautiful and that melon just makes this fragrance sing. It's so just deliciously special. I also find Le Parfum de Therese to be terribly underrated from the house of Frederick Mall. Do not get me wrong, I really love the fragrances that they have and the basically the, um, the freedom that the noses have to kind of create and work with this house and them kind of and picking up older formulas, fragrances that probably, if it weren't for the incredible generosity of Teresa, letting everybody else in the world enjoy them in a way where it's accessible for a lot of people. I think that it's fantastic. As a fragrance, I think this is perfect as something that's creative, unique, 
beautiful, still ahead of its time, but at the same time is classic and wearable and elegant and mature, but youthful and playful. It has all of those components that I want to see in perfumery, effortlessly, perfectly blended together to create something beautiful. And Le Parfum de Therese is it for me. It is one of the fragrances where I smelled it and I was like, this is a 10 out of 10. This is perfect. Like Lipstick Rose, there's something about this fragrance that just hits a chord with me in a way that I find to be incredibly just personal and perfect and just the way I love to smell. I myself am not an elegant lady. I'm not. I'm just your little lady over here, 37 year old, plump little princess. And I just like to sit here and talk about fragrances for you. But if I had to in my head envision an ide idealistic image of myself and put it into fragrance form, this would be it. It's elegant, it's playful, it's beautiful, it's timeless, it's mature, it's sophisticated, but it's creative and whimsical. And I love that the jasmine plays with the prune, plays with the vetiver, plays with the florals. But what I really love is that beautiful melon from start to finish that gives it such a beautiful, juicy, fruity quality that works with more of the citruses, that works with more of the aromatics, that makes this playful, but also timeless. It's just perfect to me. Le Parfum de Trace isn't going to be a fragrance for everybody. It is complex and beautiful, and there are a lot of people out there that just aren't a fan that she prays. That's totally fine. And also, for the most part, like more minimalistic fragrances, and there is nothing wrong with that. But if you like elegant, sophisticated she prays, if you like complex, mature, and beautifully iconic compositions, and you haven't had the opportunity to at least smell Le Parfum de Therese, I highly recommend getting your nose on it. It is absolutely beautiful. Now, it is a pricey fragrance. Frederick Mall is a luxury brand. For this size, you're looking at spending around $330. So this is not for everybody, but you can go to some fragrance counters. You can find decants and samples of this. If you can even just smell it once or twice, it is definitely a treat just to smell the melon and this beautiful, classic, timeless composition of fruits and florals aromatics and just this gorgeous aquatic ozonic fragrance that has melon in it. I love that. It's so pretty. It's worth just smelling once just to experience it. But in my personal opinion, this is a 10 out of a 10 perfect masterpiece of a fragrance. Highly underappreciated and beautiful. It is pricey, so definitely it won't be for everybody. But if you are interested in performance, it performs fantastically six to 10 hours on my skin in the summertime around six. In the wintertime, it does perform around the 10 hour mark. So it does perform very well with moderate sillage. Now I will say that a lot of times more complex sheepy fragrances, I don't find to be perfect for professional settings, but this one's actually, although it is complex and beautiful and has a lot of little nuances to it, it's not a challenging fragrance, it's a joy. So I do think that in some cases, not all, but if you work at a place where maybe it's more cubically or you work in a more social distancing um, atmosphere where somebody's like six to 10 feet away from you most times, this will be a safe fragrance to wear. But some she prays, some people don't like. So if you work in a more close knit type of environment, I'd say probably stay away from this fragrance for a professional setting if people are sensitive to fragrances. But at the end of the day, it is one of my favorite fragrances. It's just a way that I just love, how do I put this? I love that Teresa was generous enough to let so many people experience the love between her and her husband because she shared this fragrance with Frederick Mall so that this beauty would practically be immortal. She didn't want this fragrance to disappear. She wanted people to love it and enjoy it. And I think that is so incredibly generous of her to share this with us. And that means a lot to me. So um, thank you, Teresa, for sharing this. And thank you, Frederick Mall, for making it. It's just, again, one of my favorites. 
Anyway guys, I'm gonna stop gushing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you guys have had the opportunity to try this fragrance, let me know what you think. Do you agree with me or you disagree with me? Just because I hold this fragrance in such high regard doesn't mean that everyone is going to agree with me and that's totally fine. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section below. As always guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.